Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Chair. Today I'm gonna to be talking through mineral foundation. This video has been a long time coming. If you follow my videos for a while, you know that I am obsessed with powder foundation. I literally think that it's the best thing in the world and I tell everybody about it. Now the one that I use is the L'Oreal True Match Mineral. It's a loose form. This is also available in a pressed form, I believe, and also a liquid and all this kind of stuff. But I actually prefer this one. This one, I think the True Match Mineral Powder is the best of the best. And for a while, we thought that it was gonna get discontinued, but it's okay. They just changed the range color. So we ended up getting one and two paired together to create like a weird three. That's a whole other video. I have yet to try the new formula. I'm still using the old formula, but I'll let you guys know how I get on with that when I get my hands on it, because I haven't been able to see it anywhere yet. But I wanna talk you guys through how to actually use this and the different ways that you can use it. So let's get started. The most important thing with mineral foundation is that you moisturize the skin. The first time I used mineral foundation, I was like, wait a minute, is my skin supposed to be dry? But it actually works better on moisturized skin. So just prep the way that you usually prep. But allow it to settle so it's not too wet. Alternatively, you can apply a liquid concealer and liquid foundation underneath. This will give you more coverage. You gotta just remember to get all of your liquids out of the way. It's kind of like baking a cake. You mix all your wet ingredients before you add the dry ones. And then you can start by applying the foundation. So I use a very small amount on my brush at a time, working through the skin using slight buffing motions. Don't put too much pressure on the brush and make sure there's not too much product on the brush either. I'm working little circular motions. I start on the outside of my face to begin with and then work my way in. The buffing motion works great, but for more coverage, use a stippling and then sweeping motion. And this will give you more coverage on areas that you need it. If you have any areas that are kind of dry, just very lightly go over with the excess on the brush rather than actually applying product on that area. And if you're worried about wrinkles around your eyes, just use a lot less product. I pretty much just use whatever's left over on my brush. Mineral foundation has a natural glow to it, so don't worry about it looking powdery. But if you do have dry skin and you're worried about that powdery effect, go in with a setting spray to finish it off and this will add a natural healthy glow to your skin and give it that skin-like texture again. So that is how I basically apply it. Now you don't have to do what I did here. You can just apply it by itself or you can use it as a setting powder and just use a lot less if you're gonna just set with it. Or you can just use it as a topping up powder, which is one of the things I absolutely love about it. I can have this in my car and even if I've been wearing my makeup for like 10 hours, I'll apply this just over the top, a very thin layer, and it's like I've literally applied my makeup all over again. It is amazing for that. Just tops up your makeup and makes it look fantastic. So if you're gonna give it a go, let me know how you get on. If you have any problems with it I'd love to hear from you because I'm here to help this is my baby I love mineral powder I would love to create my own mineral powder one day because I just think it's the best thing in the world and everybody needs to try mineral foundation seriously give it a go let me know what some of your favorites are or if you've tried it or if you haven't tried it I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys